Hello everyone, this is Stellani. So I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and shout out to all your kind words. So I hope everyone's doing well and sending love to everybody on the West Coast having those earthquakes, which you all know I predicted. And this reading is going to be about the Mercury retrograde. So this is for all signs. And this is going to be a general read of the collective energy of what to expect during the Mercury retrograde because it's officially started. So certain things to remind you during the Mercury retrograde, you know the past often comes back. Also, don't sign new contracts because the energy is very fickle and things are temporary. So don't start new things. You know, you could reflect, rehash, release but I wouldn't start any serious, you know, committed contract or commitment until after the Mercury retrograde. All right, so also you might have a lot of technology problems. Okay, so if you want a personal reading, my information is below with options and everything, and I'm just gonna get right into your reading. So every message is not gonna resonate because this is for thousands of people. So just take whatever messages are for your energy. Okay, so let's see. Wow, why am I not surprised? Four of fire, four of wands, twin flame energy. Wow, ten of water, three of fire, temptation. At the bottom of the deck, you have the sun card. So there's going to be a lot of abundance coming in during this Mercury retrograde. During this Mercury retrograde, there is going to be a lot of shifts and a lot of happiness. So some of you also are going to get pregnant. I'm just going to say that. I say that in every video um, when I see certain energies, but it is what it is. And some of you are going to get pregnant. I have to say what I see. Now, with the Sun card also, what I'm getting is a new beginning. So I feel like you're going to have some type of newness come in during the Mercury retrograde, which is funny because I had to say before I started the cards to be careful. So if someone contacts you and you reconnect, that's fine because there's a lot of healing and a lot of reflection during the Mercury retrograde. So this could be the new beginning, but, but, but. If you want to be in a serious commitment, do not make any commitments until after the Mercury retrograde, okay? And there's a foreshadow period. So to be honest, until like the end of this month, I wouldn't um, make any like major obligations. Now, the Sun card, some of you, this has to do with love. But others of you, this has to do with some type of new project that you started. You're going to start seeing things come together, fruition, okay? You're going to see your hard work pay off. I also get, with the Sun card, a lot of you are going to be illuminated. So we're also coming up on a full moon and secrets always come out. So with the sun, things shine a light on darkness. So some of you, you're gonna find out what you've been wondering. You're gonna have confirmations and this is a good thing, okay? So this is like the best card to get. So overall, you know, pretty positive energy, okay? So that's great. Now, I'm going to get into this card first because it flew out. Temptation. So, some of you are going to be dealing with temptation, you know, and this has to do with, like I said, be careful. So, this could be the past. This could be a new temptation. Um, 
But some of you, you're going to be tempted definitely, okay, during this Mercury retrograde. Tempted in different ways, love-wise, tempted, you know, money-wise, which isn't always a bad thing as long as it's kosher, as we say in New York. So the Four of Wands, the Four of Fire, celebrations, unions, which it's been going on because a lot of people have been emailing me telling me they haven't talk to the divine masculine you know this is twin flame energy i have to put it out there a lot of you have been saying you haven't talked to your divine masculine in forever and then out of the blue you guys just reconnected i mean people that weren't in contact for years months okay so a lot of unions are happening this is still what's going on this is still the current energy and then you have the four of fire and the ten of water ten of cups that's complete emotional fulfillment which goes with the sun card you know so make sure you continue to be loyal to yourself and ten of water is abundance like i said a lot of abundance will start trickling in that set forth you know months ago during this month some of you are going to get into serious situations but you guys are going to be tempted so don't cheat <laughs> Okay, don't bite the apple because we all know how that ends. It doesn't end very nicely. Now, the Ten of Water, so this is a long-term st stable relationship. This is the energy coming in. So some of you, it's going to be a brand new person. Others of you, it's going to be someone from your past. Also, you guys are making plans. Some of you are going to be traveling. When you travel during the Mercury retrograde, just check twice, air planes you know get delayed technical problems um just go over your plans as long as you go over things save your work you know save your pictures on your phone but yeah so overall i'm really happy because the only bad card basically is the temptation card which you know that's life so yeah but you guys are really going to start getting your wishes, you know? So that is great. Let's see, what else do people need to know during the Mercury retrograde? And some of you are going to be making plans during this time with your significant other. Some of you are going to be making plans to move on. Some of you are going to be making plans to end karmic cycles okay that could be the temptation some of you are making plans to move like completely move somewhere else some of you are going to be preparing you know you find out you're pregnant you're gonna be preparing so a lot is going to happen though during this time no, I'm not acknowledging any haters because I'm not wasting my breath. Um, certain people want to come to my channel and be nasty. Just remember, karma's a bitch. And you could have good karma or you could have bad karma. But that is your choice and I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> so, let's see, let's get into this. Wow, so like I said, there might be conflicts that you're leaving behind during this Mercury retrograde. Be careful, some of you are going to get into arguments, but some of you are going to get an apology with someone that you argued with. So, there was lack of determination before, and you were going through a shadow period, or that other person... There's going to be communication coming in with the Eight of Wands. Some of you don't live by each other, and you're going to get communication coming in back and forth. Texting, you know, this is some of you. So with the Queen of Swords, again, communication coming in, and very, like, serious. And then also with the Queen of Swords, some of you are cutting people off, okay? Some of you are just cutting someone or something off. 
a lot of you are going to be rebuilding because a lot of you had tower moments. So during the Miss Mercury retrograde, you're going to be focused on reflecting and rebuilding the partnership when this communication comes in. And what did I tell you, the moon card? So remember I said I feel like the sun's going to illuminate on certain secrets, certain, you know, things you didn't know or um, things you did know and you were going to, like, get what you want in your favor well with the moon card in reverse secrets are definitely going to be coming out during this micro retrograde and i'm not surprised because we're going to have a full moon so yep that's that so let's look into romantic energy more i'm not going to make this video long because we all have a life we all have things to do Well, some of us have lives. <laughs> so, anyway. Those that don't have lives are those that waste time <laughs> on YouTube being nasty. So, cough, cough, karmics. But anyway, so it's safe for you to love. And you're going to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So... Like I was saying, some of you are going to have this communication coming in, you're going to reflect, you're going to heal, you're going to talk about, you know, what you both were going through. Um, a lot of you have been going through this depression or shadow period. Well, it's coming to an end. This Mercury retrograde in the full moon is like a final release. So release any negativity. Now, a lot of you haven't been getting um, attention from whoever you want attention Two, you're wondering if you could trust this person. Yes, you could trust them. But some of the people that you're dealing with are very focused on money, and that's why you're not getting attention. You know, so there's thousands of you. Take whatever message. Some of you are feeling like the relationship has come and run its course. A lot of people have been telling me that they're ending karmic relationships because they can't stop focusing on their twin flame. So a lot of you might be having these conversations with a karmic partner saying it's not working out. Oh, what did I just say? And you're going to free yourself, okay? You're going to move on. So this energy is about moving on to brighter days. And with the honeymoon card, there's going to be a lot of forgiving, letting go during this time. So a lot of letting go, We, you know finalizing things, reflecting, that is the energy. Just to summarize it, but some of you, you know, you're going to be super happy because with the sun card that came out and the ten of cups and the four of wands, a lot of you are getting contact in the eight of wands from someone you really, really want to hear from during this Mercury retrograde, which I'm not surprised because the Mercury retrograde brings people back from the past. <laughs> you know, it brings old things to surface. It pushes people in their feelings. I wanted to do a reading today because the energy was really heavy. So, you have a lot to look forward to because Ten of Cups is complete emotional fulfillment, long-term relationship. You know, happy home, family, the sun card, whatever you were thinking, your answer is yes. If you were wondering, is someone going to come back? Yes. But like I tell people, time is very fluid, so I wouldn't focus on time. Just know that something's going to happen, and yeah. So a lot of you are choosing new directions. Some of you are going to be intimate, and someone... And something of importance is going to happen. And like I said, tower moments, engagement, union, four of wands. So a lot of you are going to be getting proposals, but be careful because this energy is very sneaky. So that's why I'm saying, like, if someone says, oh, will you marry me? I mean, you could say, like, oh, wow, you know, I want to, but I just don't feel comfortable until this retrograde is to get into, like, serious talks. Or, like, you know, say yes, but then just don't do anything until after the Mercury retrograde. Because it's time. So, 
you're getting this commitment come in for some of you, but be careful because some of you, you're dealing with people that have a double agenda. So a lot of you, somebody's been thinking about you and focused on you, and so this is why the stability is coming in, the stable commitment offer. And you were like dealing with blockages, you were dealing with just energy that has been stagnant. Well, the Mercury retrograde, there's going to be certain delays going on, so don't get upset, it's just natural. Mercury retrograde delays a lot of things. But after these delays, after these obstacles, you're going to have a stable commitment come in. You know, you're going to have this love offer that's major, okay? Those of you that are not interested in love, this could be some type of finance or a new project, you know? But anyways, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Bye.